Hello everyone, welcome to day three. We are going to do a bar workout today. Um, we're just gonna dive right in and get going. It won't be too long, I'm aiming for around 20 minutes. Um, we'll see how we do. So what you're gonna want today is a chair. I'm just gonna be using this creaky old chair here. <laughs> um, we'll do a warm up, we'll do some leg work, we'll do some glute work, a little bit of arms, and then um, we will cool down. Okay, so we'll start by getting our heart rate going. Make sure you have everything you need, some water, um, a chair instead of a bar. Um, if you do want weights, I for arms later, you could use some, I mean, I've used like cans of soup before when I have no weights. Um, I'm gonna go grab my weights really fast. Um, so gather all the things you need, and I will be right back. Okay. Start um, with four big inhales up and out. Ready? Breathe it in and exhale. Again. Two more. Last one. Good. We're going to raise the knee up one knee at a time. We're just going to slowly increase that heart rate. Send those arms up in the air. Keep those knees going. Bring those knees up nice and tall. We're going to take those elbows down and up. Opposite elbow to knee. Twist. Twist. Good. Four more. Good. Back to that knee left. Just the knee. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one, let's take it into a wide squat. We're gonna sit it down, we're gonna sit and reach. Sit and reach, good, so squat, reach, squat, reach. Pointing that toe as we reach. Let's speed that up. Getting that heart rate up. Good, take that squat down, bring those hands to the floor. We're gonna sit, then we're gonna straighten. Again, sit it back, then straighten the leg. Let's do four more. Sit, then booty up. Three, two more. Good. Walk those feet in. Let's roll it up nice and slow. We're going to take it down onto the mat. Nice tabletop position. So knees are right under those hips. Wrists are right under the shoulders. Okay? We're going to do a little cat cow. So we round out the spine. And then we... Lift that chest, arch the back, looking up. Again, round it out, and look it up. Two more. And one more. 
Good. Now I want you to find a nice neutral spine. So that belly is going to be nice and tucked. We don't want a big dip in the back. We want it nice and straight all the way back to the booty. So we're kind of pressing back through that tailbone. From here, we're going to take one arm out and the opposite leg out. Bring the elbow to knee, then extend. Again. We're still just warming up here. Good. It's like we're crunching as we're pulling them together, then extend. Give me two more. Good. Find that neutral spine, tabletop. Other side. Reach. Find that balance. Draw it in and extend. So we're exhaling as we squeeze and extend. Two more. Good. Back to tabletop. Put it back in child's pose. All right, you guys ready to get started? We're going to work the lower body. Go ahead and grab your chair. My sweet workout music. You love it? There's some funky old songs on this one. All right, let's find a good position here so you can see what I'm doing. There we go, this should work. All right, we're gonna start facing the bar or the chair. We're gonna start in second position. So toes are slightly turned out. Um, there's about 10 to 12 inches between my heels, okay? As we go down, we're going to line up the spine with the tailbone as we lower and as we lift. I'm going to turn so you can see. So a lot of times in exercise, like when we do normal squats, we sit things back. In bar, since it is using moves from ballet, we're going to try and keep a nice neutral spine, which sometimes means shoulders are down. And the booty, instead of being arched like this, it's going to be tucked in. So we're trying to straighten everything out. So when we take things down, it's like the upper body's just going on an elevator ride down and up. Okay? Down and up. I don't want the booty going back. But we don't want to overcorrect and overtuck because that can damage your lower spine over time. So we're just doing a slight tuck to create a neutral spine. All right? Go ahead and grab that bar or chair or whatever you're using. Here we go. Let's lower it down. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one. So we're lowering slowly then shooting it back up. Good. Four more. Three. Last two. And one. Let's see that up. So we lower and lift. Toes are turned out. Knees are tracing wide over those toes. Good. Let's take it halfway down and pulse it. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down. Good. Remember to keep that pelvis tucked under, right? Not out, but in. Hold. For four, three, two, and one. Good. Rise it up. We're going to take it back to a lunge. We're going to lunge it back and then tap it in. Okay, so join me. Here we go. Lunge and tap. So this bar or chair is just working to keep us steady. So let's take it back and lunge it down, pulsing it.
Let's take it down and hold. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Step it in and shake it out. We're going to take the other leg back. Ready? Lunge and tap. Good. Keep it going. Four more. Good. Take it back and pulse it down. Pulse. Ready to hold it? Take it down and hold. Just hovering over. Burning is right. Can't stop this burning. <laughs> hold. Three, two, one. Good. Step it together. All right. I'm going to change the angle. We're going to face the chair still. This is so hard without mirrors. All right. We're going to go up on the toes, and then we're going to sit it down like we're sitting in a chair while we're on those toes, okay? We're going to pulse it down and up, lifting those heels, sitting into it. Keep it going. Pull. Let's take it down and hold, hold. Good, stand it up, take it nice and wide. Up onto the toes, ready? Lower it down and stand. Staying on the toes that whole time. All the way down, all the way up. Good, take it down, hold it down. Take it down and hold. Heels can come down if you need them to, or you can keep them lifted. Good, drop the heels, step it together, we're going to do another set. Up on those toes. Down, sitting like in a chair, ready? Pulse it down. Keep that going. Down. We're just using this for balance. Down and hold. Your legs should be burning. They can be shaking, that's totally fine. Good, step it wide. Up onto the toes, here we go. Drop and stand. Both heels are up. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Take it down. Hold. Pulse it. Good. Now hold it down. Hold. Good. We're going to keep it nice and wide. Drop those heels for a minute. Take it nice and low. All right. Ready? We're going to lift a heel. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Keep that going. Lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Nice. Now let's see if we can hold this perfectly still and only have this move. Good. Hold that left one up and pulse it just with one high. Pulse. And let's switch sides. Other heel up and pulse. 
Nice, tall spine. It's like there's a string pulling you into the ceiling. Switch sides. And switch again. Last one. For four, three, two, and one. Good. Straighten it up. We're going to take it down to the mat. We're going to find that tabletop position again. All right, ready? We're going to extend one leg back. We're going to tap it out, lift, and cross. Nice pointed toe, tap it out and across. Out, across. We're working our glutes here. Out and across. Keep that going. Four, three, two, one. We're going to take it straight up. Nice, straight leg, pointed toe, lift. Good job. Wrists are right under those shoulders. Good. We're going to take that heel, tuck it to the bum, and press. Tuck and press. Bend and press. Good job. Eight more. Last four. We're going to take that knee and bring it to the chest. Then lift that heel up to the ceiling. Up. In and up. Good. Four. Three. Two. One, let's leave it up and pulse it up. Two, three, four, and four, three, two, and one. We're going to open it up wide like a fire hydrant and press it out. Like a dog, hand on a fire hydrant. In and press. In and press. It's like that knee is coming to the elbow and press it out. Two more here. Last one. Good. Drop it into child's pose. All right, we're going to find that tabletop position. We're going to do it on the other side. Ready? Point that foot out. We're going to go to the side and lift as we cross. It's a big lift as we cross, really working that glute. Out and cross. Good. Keep it going. Four more. Good. Let's take it straight up and back. Up. Two. Three. Four. Keep it going. Nice straight leg, nice pointed toe. Good. Bring that heel in and press. Eight more. For four. Rest through that heel every time. Left two. One, bring that knee into the chest. In and up to the ceiling. It's like you're trying to give the ceiling a high five with your foot. Four more. Bam. Three. Up. Two. One, let's kick it up. Hit the ceiling up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Let's do eight more. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's open that knee, bring it to the elbow, and press it back. Okay, so it's like a fire hydrant. Hand back. Kind of gross. In and press. In and press. In 
and press. Last one. Good. Drop it to child pose. Get it back. Okay, we're going to roll it up. You should really be feeling it in those legs. Yeah? Do you feel it? All right, we're going to come do one more sequence on the mat before we work our arms. So we're going to come with one leg across in front, the other right here. Hands can be between the calf and the crotch area. All right, ready? This leg in the back is going to come lifted off the floor. Ready? We're going to lift it up, pulse it up. The whole thing's lifted off. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Let's straighten that foot out. We're going to lift it. Little baby lift. Okay? Up. You feeling it right here? I am. For four, three, two, and one. We're going to tuck the knee in. We're going to go lift. We're going to go back and then straighten it. That's it. Take it back, then straighten. So the foot stays off the floor the whole time. Back and straighten. Good. Four more. Back and straight. Three. Two. And one. Good. Rest that leg down. All right, we're going to cross that leg over the knee. Give it a nice hug. Really stretch it out right here. <laughs> All right, we're going to repeat that on the other side. So switch sides, line up those hands. We're going to lift this back leg up all the way off the ground. Here we go. Lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. We have eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Straighten it out. We're going to lift it here. Good. There we go. Lift it up. Two, three, four, four more. Four, three, two, and one. Bend it. We reach back. Then lengthen. Take it back and lengthen again. Let's do four more. Back and straight. Feet stays off the floor. Foot stays off the floor. Two more. And one. Good job, lower that leg, cross it over. You're gonna feel that tomorrow, yeah? Good, stretch it out. All right, let's come to standing. If you have weights, go ahead and use them. If you have cans of soup, that works too. We're just gonna start really simple here. We're going to lift the weights in front, then to the side. Okay? Up and side. So we're just lifting them to shoulder height and shoulder height. Okay? Slow and controlled. Not flinging them up with our body, but nice and controlled, just with the arms. Good, keep that going. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. All right, arms are going to come in front, holding those weights. We're going to take it up. We're going to lift up, up. Okay. So we're just lifting it up like this. Slight bend in the elbow. Woo. 
Good. And let's take it up and back. Up and back. Up and back. Good. Good. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to hinge forward slightly. Okay, we're going to take our arms out. We're going to bring them back to like a V shape. Ready? Take it back. Back. Good. And bring it right back to the sides gently. We're not swinging back and forth. Everything is with purpose and with control. Creating a V. Think of pinching those shoulder blades together. We're working the back here. Four more. Three, two, one. Good. Hinge it forward again. We're going to take the elbows. They're going to be right by the side. Not up here. Not down here. We're going to straighten it out and bend it. Okay. Buck and forward. Back and up. All right. So we're working those triceps. Nice work. Keep it going. So really press back and squeeze. It's not about lifting super high. It's just pressing back and squeezing through those triceps. You can hinge it forward to work those triceps a little bit more. Let's do eight more. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, we're almost there, two, and one. Good, let's stand up, drop those weights. Take an arm, cross it over. Other side. Grab an elbow. We're going to do a quick pigeon stretch on the floor. You can keep it high. So basically the front knee is bent, back leg is straight. You keep it high like this, or take it as low as you'd like. Chest can drop forward. Keep it here or all the way down. Just hold this and stretch it out. I told you I had awesome music for this, right? <laughs> Nothing like flash dance music to get you going. All right, let's switch sides. Bend that front leg, lengthen the back. Hinge it forward wherever it's comfortable for you. So you take it what whatever feels good for you. You should feel it pull and stretch a little bit, but not to the point of where it's hurting you. Hold it here. together, press it down, shoulders are back, away from the ears, spine is nice and tall, reaching those knees apart from each other, just breathe here. Good, let's come up to standing, slowly just roll that spine up. Keep your chin to your chest until you're all the way up and then go ahead and raise that head up. Whew, you did it. That was just a small sample of bar. As we do them every Wednesday, we will um, add more different things, try and include a variety of stuff. So um, there's your bar sample for the day. Happy day three. Yay, we're making it.
You're still with me? You're awesome. Keep going. We've got this. We are changing and becoming new people for this new year and getting stronger with every workout. Okay? So I'm proud of all of you. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you tomorrow.